Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. In our last video, we talked about the different Azure Analytics products or the services that you can utilize to perform advanced data analytics in combination with Microsoft Power BI. After that video, many of you have asked me, hey, could you please make step-by-step -step videos or a playlist that we can utilize to perform this advanced data analytics or data analytics using Azure products? Well, this is the very first video where we are gonna talk about the very first process in data analytics. In this video, we are gonna talk about where you can store the data and if you are the one who would like to perform data analytics or advanced data analytics with the help of Microsoft Azure and Power BI, then this video is for you. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Storing the data is a very critical process and you should know what kind of storage services you would like to use. Microsoft Azure offers various kinds of storage services. You can use the data lake, blob storage, or maybe table storage, or maybe you are gonna use the Azure SQL database. But where you would like to store your data? That is really, really important question. You should ask yourself, you should check your requirements, and also what kind of data you are gathering. That can be your structured, unstructured, maybe some incoming streaming or maybe it's coming some of from your IoT devices. Well, in this video, we are going to talk about Azure Data Lake. That means Azure Data Lake service, which is a product under Azure Analytics. So what you need to know about Azure Data Lake storage, you will get to know in this video. And we are going to start with a very basic concept. What is Data Lake storage and why you should use it? Azure Data Lake Storage is a scalable and secure cloud-based storage solution that enables businesses to store and analyze vast amount of data. By that means that if you have huge amount of data, then you are gonna use a Data Lake Storage. It is built on the top of Azure Blob Storage and is designed to handle big data workloads with ease. Now we are gonna talk about some of the key features and capabilities of Azure Data Lake Storage. Number one. Scalability. Azure Data Lake Storage can scale to petabytes of data. It's gonna allow businesses to store and analyze vast amount of data. Number two, security. Azure Data Lake Storage provides enterprise grade security with features such as encryption, access control, and audit logging. Number three, analytics. Azure Data Lake Storage integrates with a range of analytics tools, including Microsoft Power BI that we are gonna to use to perform advanced data analytics, Azure Databricks, and Azure HD Insights. Number four, integration. Azure Data Lake Storage integrates with a range of other Azure services, including Azure Snips Analytics, Azure Stream Analytics, and Azure Machine Learning, allowing businesses to build end-to-end -end data pipelines. Number fifth, cost-effective. Azure Data Lake Storage provides a cost-effective storage solution for big data workloads with features such as hierarchical namespace, which includes storage cost by eliminating the need for redundant copies of data. And lastly, performance. As you know, performance always plays the key role when you have to select any tool or service. Azure Data Lake Storage provides high performance storage and data access with features such as parallel file systems and optimized data transfer protocols. Now, let's move further and see how we can integrate Power BI with Azure Data Lake Storage and how can we take the advantage of this. Now I'm gonna show you how you can connect with your Azure Data Lake Storage account. First of all, you have to create one storage account. If you don't know how to create it, it's pretty simple. Here you would come on your Azure portal where you would type storage account and there you would find it. So you can create Gen 1, Gen 2, even the blob storage account according to your own requirements. I have already created one Azure storage account or Azure Data Lake storage account, which you can see over here, BCP storage demo. So click over here. Once you are gonna click over here, you will find certain information along with the containers. Over here containers are simply kind of a your storage space where you can store your data. I have created different one. One of them is AdventureWorks. If I'll go inside it, I'll find my data, which is AdventureWorks DW2012 Excel file. Now, 
what we are going to do we are going to connect with this file because this is the file which is placed into our Azure Data Lake storage. Now the question comes how would you connect with the Microsoft Power BI? Microsoft has already provided a document over here. You can go through this document and you can find how you can connect with it. And I'm also going to show you how you can do that. But before going into the Power BI, you should know the format of your connection string or URL that how you can connect with that. So please make sure that your URL is in this form. Over here, first is your account name, which is going to be your storage account name, then the container for example we have this adventure box container and then subfolder if you have any so the very first we have to note down our storage account name which is this one and my container over here is adventure box so i have to note down both of them one more important information over here is about this access key you would need it to authenticate yourself otherwise it's gonna say forbidden resources or forbidden error something like that I don't know exactly how it says, but it would be something like that, that uh, you are forbidden, you cannot connect with this. So you have to get your key and you have to use it to authenticate yourself. So let's do that. Right now I'm into my Microsoft Power BI desktop where you can see right now this is my URL format and this is my URL which I'm gonna use to connect with my storage account or data lake storage. So first of all, you have to go to this get data tab over here you would come to this more section once you are over here you can simply type or search azure data lake storage over here you are going to find data lake gen 2 and gen 1 but we are going to connect with the azure data lake storage gen 2 account simply click on this click on connect and here you can paste your url over here you should remember that you have two data view that means you have file system view and cdm folder view which is in beta you can choose either of them now click on ok button it's not asking me to authenticate because i have already done that so here you can simply click on this combine button and then it's gonna open one another window where you can combine all these queries this is over here gonna show you the sample so you can see the preview of your data then simply click on OK and once you click OK since I have clicked on only on one table it's probably going to show you the one table only. Let me go back over there. So here you see this is my source name because I clicked on one date table only that's why it's showing me that date table only but if you would like to click all tables you can do that too. So this is the part which you should remember how you can connect with your Azure Data Lake storage account and how you can get the data inside Power BI. However, let me show you one more thing over here. So if I'm going to close it, I'm discarding it and I want to remove the permission. I'm sure many of you, when you would try to connect with it, you would face this challenge and then you're going to ask me again, hey, how to connect with that and all. So let me do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear this permission. Basically, I'm deleting all this permission and I'm going to start from the beginning. Over here, I can go to this get data tab, go to more and once you click on this more button then you can simply search again data lake and here you would get two options so i'm going to connect with data lake storage and two if you want to know the difference between these two you can check the microsoft documents so click over here here you have to provide the url simply click ok after that and this is where it's going to ask you to authenticate yourself i can sign in over here there's no problem so simply sign in it's gonna work however just don't go over there yet so you have to close this one first you have to come here and you have to provide your account key this is really important otherwise you are gonna get error so go back show copy come here then connect it and that's how you can connect with your data which is in the data lake storage i hope guys this is gonna be very helpful for you and you know now how to visualize the data because this is not a power bi tutorial video this was all about how you can get the data from azure data lake storage and how you can visualize and analyze with the help of microsoft power bi if you have any question and concern please don't forget to let us know 
If you are over here for the very first time, please consider to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. See you in the next video.